This is not how I wanted it to start off. Cars are just unnecessary. Why are we at the police station? Why do we only have $195 in our pockets? Well, where's even the air for? Oh, that John is. Oh, that John not far. We can make that. But how we gonna get over there? Why don't this have? You know what? This map is actually really bad. It don't even have the path for you to follow. Oh, how do we do this? This map is not it. This map is not it. Oh, how do we go up? All right, this has to be the way right here. No way. No, are you serious? You can't be doing that right now. We can't be having no offices on us right now. Oh no, we can't even do it. We can't even get out. Oh, we gotta cancel this ride. Dang, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, we back at it again. Here we go. Let's go. We out here. All right, the church. Let's go. Put on the gas. We out here. Oh, I thought I thought it was actual news that was going on, like how they have in Saints Row. Normally in Saints Row, they be having the news. Directly in the next, you know what? Police still have no leads in the tragic murder of Officer Ralph Pendlebury, whose body was found recently. This is a weapon, Officer Pulaski, that was used to gun down a police officer not 10 minutes ago. Wow. Officer Pendlebury. Pendlebury. A fine man, I might add. What a fine man. Pendlebury worked for internal affairs. It was believed he was close to uncovering a huge corruption ring within the LSPD. A police spokesman denied the story. A San Fierro man is suing the Renaissance Fair for selling him replica weaponry, which he blames for a string of murders. Richard caught up with him. I purchased a working catapult at the Renaissance Fair, and after a fight with my insurance salesman over my Come DWI, on, I began lobbing balls of fire at his house and burned down an entire neighborhood. It's inexcusable. The manufacturers will pay. Give me some money. Come on, give me some money. It's their fault. What kind of a person sells a catapult without putting a That's good. Seems fair enough to me. I'm Leanne Forge. That was the news. Be safe out there. Where am I going? I'm going. Do I need a highway to get there? No, I do not. Oh, I bet. How complex? Oh, no! There's the real world. Then there's ours. No. Now I have to get a new taxi car. Have you ever played Crazy Taxi? It's a it's a really dope arcade game. This is what this is reminding me of right now, and I really might play some Crazy Taxi up here. Oh, for real? Thank you, man. You know what? We're doing great by the community by doing this. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Move the ass. I, I know she's trying to get the step. In. Oh. It was a good thing she ain't count that. I feel like it's just making an educated guess, like just driving in a direction and then you might find it. Don't do this. Oh, I knew you was gonna do it. That's a nice car too. I might take that. Should I steal that cap taxi car, or should I not? Questions for later. If you love to hear liberals whine and conservatives lecture, then stay tuned for I say you say. The future of America threatened again. This time we win. I'm Dr. Phillips, and I'm also Dr. Phillips.
<laughs> You're also Dr. Phillips. Testing babies and That's all today on I say you say. What did she say? We show us names, but that's about it. I'm Peyton, that's my wife Mary, and this is I say you say. Oh, okay, they're married, okay. That makes sense. West, and the West always wins. That wall came down, darling. Yes, bitch! The hell? Who is you talking to like that? You just came crazy. I should really cancel your whole ride right now. Dang, that took my whole tip. I know, I understand that. I'm sorry. And that my wife, the professor in social Darwinism, or me, lecturer in quickness and ecology. That's the problem with me. Did you hear what she just called me? Bitch! Freedom, let's go to the phone! Uh, yeah, sorry. Here's the deal. I'm really funny. Nobody wants to hire somebody funny. I mean, how is that fair? I mean, I'm white, middle class, very erudite. Uh, you know, whatever that means. Get out of here. People just respond badly to me. Come meet me at this corner later. Are you related? Hell no! <laughs> uh, I, I don't think so. I hope not. Have you got a question about politics? Yeah, sure. I know a lot about politics. Don't do that. You know, I used to be on the radio back in the day. Even my husband can't do his job. His strange pathetic slap. Let's have a real caller, please. Hi, my name is Christelle. I'm a first-time caller to the show. I wanted to know what you guys thought about... Christelle, like the champagne? My name's Christelle. Like the champagne? Well, that sounds like a stripper name. This is a simple issue. Smoking. Democracy at work again in our state. Seems like a good thing when you first look at it, but democracy only works when you agree with it. Then it's best to favor a totalitarian state. I'm not sure about this one. I think smoking is, is this a state totalitarian my body, state? And I've always wanted to shoot people. I'm right behind the proposition. Me too. Yeah, Thanks, Bob. Michelle. Okay. I wanted to say hi to my stepbrother, Phil. He's been undergoing a hair transplant today. Hey, Phil, if you're listening, I hope it's sick this time. I won't tell anyone you've got plugs, honey. I'm really proud of you. That's great, honey. But if you want shout-outs, call the rap station. That's offensive. And I'm really offended by what you're saying. I'm a smoker. This used to be a free country. Bingo. Wait, no. How the hell do I get over there? No way. How the hell do I get over there, dog? When? Ha! <laughs> good point, Dolly. Gotcha. Yes, good point, but remember, You're our dead. founding fathers grew tobacco. Relax them between stressful stints of genocide and witch burning. And you're so against raising taxes, smokers pay more taxes than anyone. My grandfather smoked his whole life. He lived until he was 32. So what I'm saying is, why can't we encourage more smoking and use the money to pay for better health care and some cultural programs, bringing expressive dance and sun worship back to the inner cities? Worrying about the inner city has ruined your academic career. And this woolly thinking is going to ruin your chances of getting anywhere with me today. The thing is, smoking is good because it lets people make a lot of money, but so is selectively culling the population. So what I'm proposing is a change in the proposition. Yeah, like smoke, boy, keep cold on a lot. And force everyone to smoke. That way we weed out the weak, make a lot of money in tax, yes, and keep our national oh, heritage yeah. intact. Yeah, I'm boy. Too. Hold on. I listen every time you're My senses are tingling. Oh, yeah, boy. I thought I was going to forget about you. Oh, it's not even that filled. I don't recognize all my land. Just want to say thank you. That's some quality broadcasting. Yeah, all right, we're about to do one last one, and then we're about to head off and do some missions. Yeah, I got corpses of 15 illegal immigrants in my yard. I killed them all myself. And not every day. I get a tax break for all this unpaid work? In our digital wallet. I would certainly hope so. Ask your accountant if you can register them as dependents. Then hide most of your net worth offshore in a complex... Why was it so difficult to get there? I'm pretty sure there's a easier no way. I just had to... How awful you think the whole country is, knowing you're doing as little as possible to help. Thanks, that's good advice. I'm appalled at you, Mary Phillips. 
Why? Because that man has a garden full of corpses, and you're talking about money laundering. Yes, it's a great opportunity for some profit. Oh yeah, we gone. We moving. Look at you. We moving in this thing. Donation! Oh God, give me strength. I married a fool. I married a fool. You know, when we first met, Peyton, I thought you were so glamorous with your long hair and big ideas. You were studying for a PhD in cultural... I oh. sorry, oh. Cross-cultural underwear or something. I like how you own cow me running over the people as now I see you taking off the tip. Um, what's that? An intellectual cesspit. A middle-class disaster. Oh, thank you for moving out of... What's good? Yeah, you see that driving skill? No wonder I've begun to sleep around. Increased. Alright, this is the last one. We ain't going to no more. We about to actually do some missions. Remember when the left wing and the right wing come together? Country can really get going. Straight off a cliff. I feel like we should just do. Oh! Oh, they want the smoke. They want the smoke. Don't teleport away. What's up? Who coming first? Oh, I right. come on. Oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? I thought we was friends. We can't be friends no more. Wow. Wow. Hit me then, homeboy. You trying Hold to on. get fresh? I can't kill y'all. Oh. Oh wait! Hey man, back I'm out of here. Let's go! Why are you shooting me? <laughs> Did you not see him shoot me? Oh, you was about to fight them? Oh, I'm sorry. Give me them Oh, L1 to switch. Oh, whoa! Hold on. Now you gotta calm it down. Now you gotta calm it down. You was hurting me a little bit too much. A little bit too much, too much. Go, go, go. Oh, we are outnumbered. We are outnumbered. Oh, we got ammo though. Oh, he can shoot while he's on the motorcycle? No way. Oh wait, I think I think we done got too hectic. I think we done got too No! No! We definitely got too hectic. Dang, all we had to do was take a vehicle and get away. Oh Lord. We was right there. We had all of the tools necessary at our disposal. We're not doing another taxi car driver mission. Not at all. Oh. That was a failure. We could have had some ammo. We could have had weapons. We could have had all of that. But you know what? We ended up dying. That's a good thing this is not a one life play. Because I knew it was going to be bad if it was. Oh, I knew he was going to turn right there. Let's go. Oh, wait, wait, one second, one second, one second. I definitely know there's a cheat code over here. Let me get this cheat code right here. Scooty doop. There's another cheat code over here. How do I get up there to get that cheat code? I gotta go all the way over there. I ain't about to do that right now, but we got one cheat code. Caesar Villapando. I'm tired of you not listening to me, girl. And I'm tired of you acting like you own me. I can see who I want to see. You just ain't right. You seeing some cello motherfucker. Oh, what? A no good, narrow-minded, hypocrite gangbanger telling me what is right and what is wrong.